So you have over eight hunger hormones kind of screaming at you to eat all day long, and they're each regulated by different things. Like for example, the first hunger hormone is called ghrelin. So it's released when the stomach is empty, but once we put food in our stomach and the weight and the lining of that stomach stretches, it stops being produced. So that hunger hormone shuts down. I see, I get it now. So the good thing to avoid would be the white processed foods, the sugar, especially liquid sugar, because this isn't stretching that stomach lining and turning off that hunger hormone. And processed food doesn't turn it off either. It, it, it's not gonna turn it off in the same way that fiber rich foods do because fiber rich foods add weight to your stomach and actually cause that stretch. I see, so I see. So we wanna eat foods like chia, flax, acacia fiber, non-starchy vegetables like cauliflower, cucumber, asparagus, anything with that's a vegetable full of water too, that's great. And then I know you had a few almonds before the show started and those are perfect because they're really high in fiber. They come with protein, fat, and fiber and those are the three of the things. So it's one stop shopping. Exactly, right. and like it's a perfect little bite. It like, is, Turn it really off those is. hunger hormones. The second hormone is your full hormone and this is called glucagon-like peptide one. Really easy just to call it GLP-1. This hormone um, is a full hormone. It's gonna make you feel full when food moves from your stomach into your small intestines. Gotcha. So what's important is to make sure that that signal is strong. If you have chronic inflammation, that signal is not strong. Actually, GLP-1 is lowered. So we really wanna avoid those inflammatory foods. So fried foods with bad oils, the really sugary desserts that are full of processed flours and sugar. The third one is the stress hormone cortisol. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the stress hormone cortisol is released when we're feeling stressed out. And although we can't control our, the daily stressors in our lives, um, we can control being full and balanced. And eating a balanced meal is going to help us stay away from those cravings that stress causes. The best thing to do is to have three balanced meals, and I always teach my clients to use their hands. So to have the Fab Four, you want protein first, right? right. And that's about the size of your palm. So you can see the chicken breast is about the size the of my size hand. The size of your hand, in right. the same thickness. Right. Exactly. Fat, a great tool is to look at your thumb. So one to two thumbs would be about the amount of fat that you would put on Y'all are gonna look so funny in the restaurant going like this and this next to your food. Well, it's better than weighing and measuring oh, and counting because I can't live that life. No, no, I think that this is, you know, I've always said if you eat a colorful diet, if you're eating healthy fats and uh, high proteins and you're not eating processed foods, you don't have to think about it as much. So then when it comes to fiber rich vegetables and greens, that can be leafy greens, it can be the cucumber or broccoli. And that can be like limitless? Or? It's, it's pretty much limitless. It's two, at least two to four cups. So that's wow. fists. Two to four fists. You really so want to stretch that stomach. My tips are definitely to eat the Fab Four and to make sure that you're getting enough so you stay full. Well, Everyone can learn more about these hormones and all the others listed in the book because you're all going home with a copy of Body Love. <laughs>